Although Empress Theodora, the wife of Justinian I, is well known in Eastern Roman history, there is another one, Theodora the Armenian. She was the regent of her son Michael III, the last emperor of the Amorian dynasty from 820 to 867 AD. Her regency was from 842 to 856 AD. What did she do against the Arabs, Bulgars, Armenians, and Slavs? Find out today on Roman History. In 843 to 844 AD, Theoctistus and Sergius Nicetiates temporarily regained Crete from the Abbasids with a naval assault. As a result, the imperial government created the theme of Crete. The Russian historian Alexander Alexandrovich Vasiliev mentioned the defeat of the Romans in Anatolia at the Battle of Moropotamos to the Abbasid Caliphate and the Emirate of Melitene. The reason was mainly due to Roman defections to the enemy. However, it did not deter Theoctistus' power and created the theme of the Aegean Sea in 843 AD with the Sibiriots Islands to weaken Arab raids. In 845, the Arabs killed the Armenians for their refusal to convert to Islam. In November, the Emir of Tarsus raided the Tarsus Mountains. But inclement weather stopped them. Also, from the same year to 846 AD, the Abbasids and Romans exchanged 4,000 prisoners on the Lamus River. In 844 AD, a Sicilian city, Motia, fell to the Arabs, but the Duke of Naples. Sergius, the first succeeded against them in Campania. In August of 846, the Arabs plundered Ostia. In 848, Theodora launched a failed expedition to defeat the Arabs in Sicily. In the same year, the Arabs sacked Ragusa in Dalmatia. From 851 to 854, the emir of Tarsus, Ali the Armenian began three years of summer raids, but he seems not to have done much damage, Treadgold 449. In 855, the Romans attacked the emirate of Tarsus and committed the destruction of Anazarbus. Conclusively, they gained almost 20,000 prisoners, Treadgold 449. In 851 AD, the Eastern Romans helped the Armenian revolt and captured Kanaka. In March 852, the emir of Armenia, Yusuf, was killed in Tehran. Then, the Abbasids sent troops to retake Armenia. An early 20th century French historian, Evariste Levi Provençal, mentioned that Ibn Hayyan and Theodora were friendly. According to a 10th century historian, Simeon Logothete, and two 20th century historians, Henri Grégoire and Vasilev, in 853 and 854 AD, Theoctistus and 5,000 troops launched two raiding expeditions to Egypt and they burned Damietta on May 22, 853 and another one. As a result, the Egyptians increased their navy. In 846 AD, the Thirty-Year Peace Treaty with the Bulgars ended. In the beginning, Emperor Leo V and Khan Omertag made peace. Khan Presian I raided the Eastern Roman holdings in the Balkans, specifically the Strymon Valley. However, the Romans won against the raids in Macedonia and Thrace and attacked southern Bulgaria. As a result, both sides concluded a peace treaty for ten years. In 853 AD, the new Khan, Boris I, raided and gained some Black Sea ports from the Romans, which later served as a concession for the renewal of the treaty. However, it was his only significant achievement because of later battles in Pannonia. Unfortunately, Photius, strategos of Anatolia, could not take Cretan fortifications under Arab control. In 848 AD, Theoctistus selected the strategos of the Peloponnese to oppose the Slavs. Simeon and John Bagnall Berry mentioned the Slavs paying tribute. By the end of her regency, the treasury had increased to less than 14 million nomismata. Although the anonymous authors, Genesius, Theophanes Continuatus, and Warren Treadgold stated the statistic, Carlin Hayter did not accept it and saw it as an exaggeration to contrast against the end of Theodora's son Michael III's reign. The success of her foreign policy was the adept financial management under Theoctistus. Thank you for watching, and please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications to my channel and videos. Your contribution can really help me.
Thank you very much.